Dice it by like this, like just chopping it like this. Have you never diced a tomato before? That is actually a true statement. What up, everybody? It's your boy Clayton Hensel with our favorite friend, Rye Rye Ryan Garrity, also known as Rye Bread. We're in the Uncommon Bistro trying to make you a beast in the home by making you a beast in the kitchen. Today, we're going to be making... Tacos. Tacos or macho tacos? Uh, okay, macho tacos. They're macho tacos. You're going to love them. Tell you what, let's uh, see what we're going to need. Well, now that you've got all your ingredients ready, Ryan, what's the next step? So now we're just gonna warm up the tortillas and brown the meat, and uh, then it's pretty much just assembling the tacos after that. Like that? I'll, we'll probably do one at a time on that. Like that? You know, how about you cook the meat, and I'll, I'll do the tortillas. All right. All right. So I just dump this in like this? Yeah, you just dump it in. So for the tortillas, you just throw them on a pan. Yeah. And uh, you just get the pan nice and hot. And I just use my fingers, toss it back and forth. Nice. Like you get a blazing hot, right? Oh, blazing hot. Yeah. Like you you really shouldn't be able to uh, be identified after you're yeah. done with it. Yeah. Thanks. Like it's nothing. The way you check to see how hot it is, you put your tongue on it for 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> it's a quick tongue check. Yeah. Or your lung, good. like an ear. And then they should become a little bit more flimsy and you pop it off. All reality, it's on super low. It's warm. You wouldn't want to leave your hand there. <laughs> oh yeah, just a disclaimer. Just a disclaimer, Cue Ryan's a moron. Disclaimer. Yeah, put the, wait. Um, when you decided to give me a knife, is there a reason why you gave me the dullest one that there is? Um, yeah, there's a specific reason for that. Okay, I'm just asking, because... Uh, the producers wouldn't let me give them anything sharper. I just, want, I just want to be clear how long it takes for me to just get through the skin of the tomato. Okay, watch. Watch, we're still not through yet. I'm just literally squeezing out. This is... Well, I wouldn't have put you on tomato duty if I knew you were gonna complain the whole time. Okay, see, that's why we didn't give you the serrated knife. So, there we go. Oh, look at that, just boom. Now, Ryan, the thing I love about these is when you get in the kitchen, the bonding that happens. The bonding? Yeah, like you and I are getting closer together. I mean, you keep backing away, but overall, like we're getting a lot closer. Is it hot in here? Yeah. And then how do you dice it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> how, do you, how, how do you dice it from here? By the way, I started cutting a green pepper and we actually don't need a green pepper for this recipe, so. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever cut an avocado before? Oh my goodness, yeah, you do this thing. Oh my Stop. gosh. Yeah, you do this thing. Okay. This is like the favorite thing they like to do. Oh, oh. then you turn it around, then you just catch it. <laughs> Those are hard to catch because they're slimy. They're real slimy. They're real slimy. And you missed the trap. <laughs> so do you know how you can tell if an onion's done? Do you know how you can tell if an, like if an onion's ripe? No. You just put a little bit underneath your eyes. Oh man, I don't believe that. <laughs> no, for no, seriously. With the knife in my hand. Yeah, you just put a little. Oh my gosh. A little underneath your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and if it uh oh. <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness, I should not have done that. No, you really shouldn't have. I was kind of priding myself. Oh wow, there's a lot of tears. I was priding myself. Oh my God, oh, <laughs> you, you really are good. Oh, it's tore up from Florida, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I'm in serious pain. <laughs> like the amount of salt oh, that's, that's coming good. out of my head right now is unreal. <laughs> Guac time. Guac, guac is pretty guac simple. Guac time is it? It's guac time? It's guac time. Hey, we're gonna need uh, all that avocado actually. So grab the rest of that over here. This right here goes right in here. So once you got that all chopped up, now you can just start throwing stuff in there. 
That's good. That's good. That's good. You don't want you don't want to over mush it. You want you want there to be some avocado chunks in there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, you're just going to... Okay. You just want some fresh lime juice. Really pull all these flavors together. <laughs> you are like 0 for 3. <laughs> so all the work is done. The food is prepped. I got to be honest. I don't, this looks great. Let's I give it a try. I'm a nervous, I'm skeptical. I f yeah, I know you're nervous about the shells. Or yeah, but I'm giving it a try. I'm, I'm riding the train. You gotta, you gotta run it around your mouth and twirl it. Then you spit it out. Am I doing that right? You sniff it first. If you're not smelling it beforehand, you're not doing it right. Yeah, you sip, swirl, gargle. Yeah. Spit. Yep. Do we have something for me to spit in? That's fine. I was just screwing Let's try this squawk. Mmm. That is almost um, better than nothing. Just uh, missing the flour tortilla? Just a... Uh, Oh yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah, that is really good. It might be the proportions of the seasoning that I used. Oh yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot in there. I think we went just a touch heavy on the salt too. You think so? Yeah. I feel like I, I feel like the proportions are perfect. 100% have a cilantro battle right now with my front teeth. We won't be getting a close up of it, don't yeah. we? You're good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this meal. Our goal is to put some tools in your tool belt so that way you can bless your wife and bless your kids and bless your home. Every home needs a godly man in it. And that means that you have the opportunity to bring into that home what nobody else can bring. So those of you who are husbands, those of you who are fathers, your role has never been more critical. Hopefully you can grab uh, this quick recipe. You can make some guac with your kids, create a memory inside of your home. And while you're doing that, you can have conversations and you can find out what's going on in their heart and what's going on in their mind, what's going on inside of their soul. This is a way for you to bless your wife when she comes home from a long day of work for you to go, you know what, I'll take care of dinner tonight. It's easy to make, it's not expensive to make, and it'll be a blessing. When we talk about you being a man of God or being uncommon, it's because ordinary isn't working. Ordinary is a person who is governed by the flesh but an uncommon man is governed by the Spirit. Listen to what it says in Galatians chapter five. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. What would it look like for your wife to have a man who's loving? What about your kids having a dad who's joyful, peaceful? How many of you would be guilty of not being patient and just wanting things done your way, right away. How many of you could be described as being kind, being good, being faithful? That's a tough one these days. Being gentle and having self-control. We're gonna be diving into what these look like over these next couple of videos. And if you're really wanting to jumpstart your relationship with Jesus Christ, we designed a conference to help each and every single man take their next step of faith. It's, it's Uncommon 2020. You can look in the description below and you'll find all the information you need to be able to join that conference. And if you see some swag that you like, from cups to aprons to stickers to shirts, we'd love to send that stuff to you. Make sure you hop on there and shop around. Until next time, be uncommon. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this past episode of the Uncommon Bistro. We've got a couple things that we believe will be beneficial to you as you continue your journey of being uncommon. One of them is chooseuncommon.com. There you can find the store, our registration for upcoming events, you can see the blog, and you can also see who we're booking for our conference. I wanna remind you guys, our conference is coming up June 19th and 20th of 2020. We believe it's gonna be the biggest and best one we've ever had and it is never too early to register. So I want you to register and every person you have influence over so we can take this ground together. Every single one of us. 
need to take a step of faith with Christ. And this conference is going to help all of us do that collectively. Second thing I want to make you guys aware of that would be a huge help to us is if you'd hit that subscribe button and if you click that bell so that way you get the notification when our next video is coming out because we want these to continue to be a blessing to your life and we don't want you to miss them. We love you all. Believe in the best. Have a great one.